What's up, Panda Gang? In Civ 6, knowing the value of tiles is imperative to your Empire's success. Many know that one production is worth roughly four gold, but I want to dig deeper and understand the value of each type. The terminology yield will be used to describe the value of food, gold, faith, and production, with yield pegged to a single production. Food is unique as it does not directly provide production, but without food, production is zero. In my Monument vs. Granary video, I concluded food and production were equally as valuable given circumstance. Factors include housing and tile quality. Any housing penalty will ruin your yields, and an additional population to work a desert hill, well that's not optimal. In the aforementioned video, I discovered working 3 yield tiles favors production focus, while 4 yield tiles favors food. Finally, food is fundamentally an investment for the future production. so. Short-term and long-term payoffs are your top considerations. Gold and production are easy to compare. Flipping city tabs, it's obvious that four times gold is needed to buy units when compared to production. This ratio is the same for buildings and even districts with a promoted reina. Production and gold need each other in an optimal empire. Production is very flexible in what it creates, but concentrated in location. Exporting production is possible in the form of units, but suboptimal due to that travel time. Gold, however, is shared across the empire by default, making export seamless. Exporting gold from your large cities will accelerate growth across your empire, while small cities should prioritize production to enable imported gold to be spent, for example, building districts. Balancing this with the four gold, one production rule is imperative to empire prosperity. Faith, while less obvious, can be compared in similar manners. Military units can be bought with faith after the government plaza building, the Grand Master's Chapel. Here we see a ratio of 2x faith to production. This extends also to buying buildings with Jesuit education and districts with a promoted moksha. Great people can also be recruited using faith and gold. Consistent with previous analysis, this 2 to 1 faith to gold ratio exists here as you would expect. Faith impacts games vastly differently. In a religious victory, it will be the most important yield of all, but in a science victory, it may have near zero impact. Faith is the sole producer of religious units, but far harder to enable than gold. If not religion focused, it is imperative to plan ahead your consumption of faith to buy land units, buildings, cultural victory assets like rock bands and naturalists. And if all else fails, you may still purchase some great people. To summarize what we've learned, the value of a yield, one production is worth one food, two faith, and four gold. The second thing we learned is that it's far from that simple. Food is greater than a single yield if a four yield tile can be worked and housing is not penalized. Otherwise, it's going to be less. Gold is how resources are imported and exported across your empires. Cities with excess production should value four gold over one production, but cities lacking production should value one production over four gold. Faith is complicated. Two faith can be generalized to value one production, but with massive differences between games. In non-religious games, if faith consumption is high, you must plan for its use eras in advance. Subscribe for more content like this and engaging playthroughs. Thanks for watching Panda Gang.